Hello, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Greetings in the name of the Lord. Amen. So, hello, beautiful family. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, a warm welcome and a hug to everybody in the name of Jesus. Father, I just pray over this video that it will be a blessing. I pray, please make me a blessing to everybody that watches, Lord. And give me what for to speak, Lord God. And may people go away feeling encouraged, Lord God. Any spirits of fear in anybody, let them come out of them right now. Any spirits of anxiety, burdens, Lord God, you'll lift them off them for your glory's sake in the name of Jesus. And they will find it. They will be yoked together with you, Lord Jesus, for your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Something like that. And uh, they'll find rest for their souls in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord God, I pray your all-consuming fire around them to devour every wile, witchcraft, anything of the enemy. But burn it away with holy fire in the name of Jesus Christ which also is king forever and ever. Lift up the beauty and power of your countenance upon them, Lord, and, and give them peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Give them such peace. Thank you. Hello, Philip. Just got to get rid of your message. Yes, they've been going over the sky. Oh, wow, look at it. Look at it. All this fake stuff. People think he's cloud because they won't even do a bit of research. No, that is stratospheric aerosol injection chemtrails terraforming the world's atmosphere. Demonic entities terraforming our atmosphere to support foreign entities during Great Tribulation Apocalypse. Seven years when God is about to pour out his wrath and his judgments upon this world. Um, the wrath of the Lamb is coming, but first the Lord Jesus will snatch all born, all born again believers who have believed on Jesus will be taken up to heaven. When the Lord, I pray for the footage to be perfect for your glory. Thank you, Jesus, and hidden in the secret place of the Most High. Lord, help me not to be distracted in the name of Jesus. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, in the rapture, harpazo, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. We are looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> hello, beautiful family. <laughs> I hope you are well. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Oh, hold on, let me get to these out. <laughs> I forgot I had these on. I hope it's recording all right. Hang them around my neck for the moment. So, yes, hallelujah. Jesus is coming. Are you ready? Are you saved? Have you believed? That's the only requirement for you to... If you want to go to heaven and not be left behind to face what's coming upon this world, you must believe. Get on board the ark of salvation if you haven't already. Father God, I pray that you clothe me with tender loving forgivenesses and kindnesses and mercies and upon them too, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that I speak not a word that uh, grieves you in any way, Lord God, but that I edify my brothers and sisters who I love very much, so much, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for them all. They be blessed and this is hidden in the secret place of the Most High from all wicked entities, all witches, warlocks, satanists. Well, they cannot view this video because it's hidden in the secret place of the Most High. And I believe in you, Father, above what they can do to me. If any of you is going in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. If any of you is going through any witchcraft attacks and stuff like that, well, uh, my advice is um, 
yes it's very real but um, put more of your faith in what God can do I mean he said if you if you don't doubt and you believe nothing would be impossible for you I'll just point it this way nothing would be impossible for you think about that think about that as long as it's in line with God's word and his will nothing would be impossible for you and I'm also preaching to myself when I say this because I also need to be reminded that behold I am the Lord Jeremiah 32 verse 27 for the glory of Jesus Christ corrected now the vision thank you the Lord rebuke you Satan I cast you off this device now for the glory of Jesus Christ our Lord amen it is done be gone off Satan the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus can you see how it's blurred not anymore by fire by holy fire of the Lord in the name of Jesus it returns to how it should do in the name of Jesus you see how it's blurred the Lord rebuke you Satan get off in the mighty name of Jesus father I pray you send your angels around me immediately thank you Lord for your glory see that it's not me I'm not doing anything now it will be kept completely hidden that that doth not happen again in Jesus mighty name amen father god i ask you dear lord that you clothe everybody with the body armor of your righteousness i pray you gird their loins with truth and you put on them the breastplate of righteousness and you shod their feet in the preparation of the gospel of peace and you put on them the shield of faith to quench every single fiery dart of the wicked and put on them the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god lord make them bold make them courageous lord god above everything i pray you remind them how precious they are if they believe on you jesus they're your daughters and your sons they are born of god and they belong to you so remind them dear lord jesus how much you love them in your beautiful name jesus christ perfect love in the name of jesus sown abundantly in their hearts in the name which is above every single name that is mentioned in the name of jesus christ amen so beautiful family uh, I hope you're all right. If, um, I hope nobody's gotten offended at me if anything I've said. If if I if I've said anything that's upset anybody, then please uh, have, have it in your heart to forgive me. Oh, that's strange. What's going on with this? I'm just wondering why it suddenly went light. And I don't I don't know how to use these phones, you know. I, I don't at all. I'm, I'm not very good anyway. But anyway, never mind. If you're new to the channel, yes, I am a street preacher. I preach all over the place um, of the the way that leads for you to be saved with everlasting life. Everlasting life. Do you know what? I, I, I find Don't you find it amazing <laughs> when you tell people, hey, this is the good news, that if you believe the gospel... If you believe that Jesus Christ died on that cross for us to pay the penalty in full, he shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins, according to the scriptures, and he rose again from the dead. And just simply by believing that and putting your trust in that finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, you'll be saved with everlasting life. You'll have a one-way ticket to heaven. You'll go to paradise. You'll escape hell. That's all that's needed is just believe that. Call upon him and you'll be saved. And you say this to people and they say, ah, that's not for me, mate. I'm thinking, what? Are you, are you, are you serious? <laughs> are you want to take your gamble? I thought the word of God isn't true. I mean, look at this great big world. Just look at it. Look at it. And there, there's no hell, they say. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. Stay off my device in the name of Jesus Christ. I feel quite fiery today, guys. I have to be. I have to be. I'm under such immense warfare all the time. But anyway, no focus on Satan, but look at this great big world. There's a heaven and there is a hell. 
hell beneath Sheol. That's where people go who reject the knowledge of the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. So I'll I'll call out these false religions. I won't even mention the name of their so-called gods. But Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, witchcraft, all these ways. There are many paths, the Bible says, that seem right to men, but the ends thereof are of death. Death. There's a second death. There's a second death. The eternal destruction of the soul in the lake of fire and brimstone, sulphur. And I don't want you to land there. I don't want that to happen to anybody. But unfortunately, it's going to happen. I would say, unfortunately, I don't want to... Are you all right, mate? I, I don't want to be um, judging it, but I, I, I think it's a right, right judgment that the majority of people have uh, are reprobate-minded because they refuse to believe in the, in the Lord our God. The Bible says they are without excuse. They can see very clearly the things that God has made. You know, we can see his power and everything for the glory of Jesus Christ. And, and yet people, he who loves his life shall lose it. And he who hateth his life in this world shall find it. Uh, something like that. He says, he who loves his life shall lose it. And he who hates his life for my sake, said Jesus, shall find it. So that is the place where I saw all these entities in their spacecraft. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. Stay off my device. Father, the blood of Jesus apply. The blood of Jesus apply to my device. And upon me, the blood of Jesus, upon them, they're washed in the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. So I, I try not to get distracted. Lord, I just pray you make it right for us, Lord, for your glory. That it's just clear so I can speak to my beautiful brothers and sisters through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Um, yeah, so I've been quite fiery today. I've been a bit righteously, you know, righteous indignation, anger. Um, at what the wicked are doing and stuff and I feel like I just need to just calm down a little bit you know um, because that's what the enemy wants the enemy wants to get me fretting worrying fearful angry all these things so that I won't be effective in God's kingdom to have unforgiveness in my heart or anger you know these things hinder our prayer lives I know they do when I've got unforgiveness in me, the Bible says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, thou shalt not hear me. The Lord won't hear us. So, and it's mostly the heart that God's looking at, not our performance so much. It's the heart. He's looking at our hearts. Do we, do we love our enemies? Do, do we forgive them? And and it can be hard. It can be very hard to forgive people when they do such rotten things to us. But, um, you know, this. I was just talking to Sister Bridget from, from America, from the Carolinas. And, and we're just saying, it. how is it that people cannot tell what time it is? I mean, today is the most creepiest day that I've, that, that I've known. I just, what happens is... I keep hearing things, maybe it's just squirrels or something. I don't know. <coughs> Very strange. It's just a strange atmosphere, guys. Can anybody relate to me? <laughs> Can you relate to me? Is the atmosphere not crazy? So I was talking to Sister Bridget, and we said, how is it that people can't see what time it is? How is it that everybody's just going along? They'd rather obey this world. And it's, and it's corrupt lies, then take a step of faith. You know? He who loves his life in this world shall lose it. Simple as that. People love their lives so much that they won't, they're gambling with their soul. They won't take that step of faith and reach out. 
lay hold of eternal salvation because there's no other name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved Jesus Christ we must be saved because we have all broken God's commandments the Bible says it's very clear all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God for the glory of Jesus Christ it's corrected now father thank you Jesus Christ glory 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 to the king of glory the lion the lion the lion the lion and the lamb the great i am you see i know what's going on and uh i'm under a lot of oppression because i know what's coming upon this world and they don't want you to know I'll tell you what's coming upon this world. What's coming during the tribulation is war, worldwide war, the likes of which this world has never seen before. It's going to be a time, Jesus said, so terrible, there's never been a time like it, and there never will be again. And that men's hearts are going to faint from fear when they see what is coming upon this world. That's what Jesus said, Messiah Jesus Christ the Saviour, the Anointed One, who, who taketh away the sin of the world, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. I hope you've believed on him, because that's all it takes for you to be saved and taken up in the rapture when the Lord descends and the trumpet blasts and boosh, will be gone in the twinkling of the eye. There'll be a flash of lightning from the east to the west, and then suddenly we'll all be up there in glorified bodies going in, Come ye, my people, enter into your chambers and hide yourself, as it were, for a moment. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the world. The, the earth also shall disclose her blood and no more cover her slain. It's Isaiah, back in 26, in the name of Jesus Christ. So... Well, they're just showing themselves that, yes, indeed, it's, it's not, people say it's my camera. No, it's not. It, I've, every single phone I've had, the, the Lord rebuke you. See, not you guys. <laughs> um, anyway, so they're just trying to distract me. You know, Satan wants to distract me from what I'm saying. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word, guys. The moon shall be turned into blood before that great and terrible day of the Lord. Nobody told me it was a blood moon today. Guys, guys, it doesn't look as red as, as, it, as it does in the, with a natural eye, but my word, guys, I mean, is that so low? I've, I've not, I don't think I've ever seen the moon so low. Well, yeah, I have. Let's just look at it. Zoom in. Is that the real moon? Seems to be a bit missing from the top unless it's just cloud. Oops. I think it's just cloud. Oh, my word. Dost thou see what I see? That's a blood moon. Some, some of it seems to be disappearing. Is it just because it's cloud? I think so. What a catch though. Blood moon. That's a blood moon, guys. The Bible says that during the apocalypse, seven years after the rapture, first the rapture happens and Jesus takes us up in the twinkling of the eye. I might not get to the end of this video because we're that close. <coughs> How strange. Thank you, Lord. Keep me hidden in the secret place of the Most High Father. Look at that line across it. Is that weird? Guys, is that weird or is that weird? Is it weird? I get accused of being a sensationalist and stuff and no, no, I'm not 
So I'm not a drama queen. I'm just showing things as they are. That is eerie. That is extremely eerie. Is it not, guys? Is it's a blood moon. It's a blood moon, guys. The moon shot. What's the light doing on? Hold on a second. I've got the light on for some reason. It's not even on. Lord, I pray you turn. See this light? I haven't even turned it on. The Lord rebuke you. Not you guys. Get off my phone, Father. I pray you cause the, the light to go off immediately in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for your glory. Oh, the light's on. I have no idea why. How do I turn it off? It doesn't even say that it's on. Right. It says, can't turn torch on because the light is being used by another app. Right, well, what's going on? Is it still on? Well, I'm just going to continue. Lord God, if somebody's trying to hack into my device right now, let them suddenly be cut off now in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, for your glory. Jesus Christ, for your glory's sake. Oh, please, Lord, I just I pray to you that you'll do it, Father. I pray you'll do it, Father God, and just turn it off. Turn the light off, Father God. Well, all I can say, well, I've got light beaming in my face. I mean, it says it's being used by another app. Listen, if somebody's hacking my device right now, let me tell you this. If you don't repent, you will go into the lake of fire where you will be utterly consumed with terrors. So I pray that you come off my device now in the name of Jesus. Somebody's hacked into one of my apps. I don't know what's going on, guys. I'll stop it and start a new one. Okay, I'll be back in a minute.